Hello everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you some initial setup of Surface UTM9. So Surface UTM is a firewall so for home or business. It prov provides some advanced uh, settings. Okay, you can download it from this website, UTM download. Okay, so I have downloaded the ISO file and uh, I did install it on my VM. So here's the uh, I will not go through all the steps for installation. Installation is quite straightforward. You can find my another video how to attach your ISO file to ESXi server and also how to boot it up. And I did install it from that ISO file and now the first screen I can see is all configuration is done with web admin go to this web so I need to get a, a machine configured on the subnet so I can browse to this website okay so here you go I already got in so this is the initial setup if I type Okay, you need to remember this password. Email address, you type your email address. So you need to agree. Finish the initial setup. So it need to Oh, 30 second anyway give it some time okay I got this login screen again so obviously I need to type my password oh, one more time maybe capital log Okay, I'm logged in successfully. The first visit is asking me you want to restore backup or not because I'm new, so license file. Okay, I do have a license file. Keep okay. it's a free version for home use. You can apply the home edition license from this website. Okay, service so home edition, get start. I already did that, so I'm going to copy my file over. Okay, I'm going to find my license file. This is my license file. Start upload. Next. LAN IP. So usually you need to define your LAN IP. Most likely we will start using the first IP. Enable DHCP in most uh, situation you need to enable this. Okay, enable this. But here uh, I'm not going to enable this because I have another firewall already. So okay, it's an internet connection. You need to choose the, which one is the internet. So your machine need at least two Ethernet port. Okay, one port for the internet, one port for the internal network. You can set up later as well. So which services you are going to provide from this server? So let's take a look. You can have a web service. You can find a FTP service. You can have a terminal service. Okay. DNS email. Anyway, I will leave it for future. Response for pin. And uh, some advanced uh, protection. So, instrument for 
bullet detection engine okay we can leave it for future and the scan website for virus okay so if you choose this one send email over configure internal email server so this basically will send you the email for any alert but you need to configure FAT SMTP server okay so give SMTP server okay leave it uh, for future okay all set finish let's give it some time Now I'm using the new IP address to log in. Okay, here's the main interface. Okay, so you can see the summary of your system. So you have Ethernet card. Home firewall version, all the other settings. So we have dashboard management. Okay, so the interface is quite fancy, honestly speaking, yeah. well organized. But I'm not going to go through one by one all the settings. So in future email, I might introduce some particular function like a VPN, like a web proxy function. Okay, please uh, subscribe and uh, watch the future videos. Thanks. There's a one thing I do need to mention during the initial setup. So this surface firewall, after you define the interface, so usually you have an internal interface and an external wine interface but even after you define those interfaces there's no internet available to the internal client the reason is there's no default rule or firewall rule allow the outgoing traffic so what you need to do is you go to here oh network protection firewall so first of all, you need to add a rule here, okay, add a rule here. So basically the rule will be allow you to add the source, for example, the source will be internal network. You can drag and drop any service, service you can drop any here location any so this way will allow the internal traffic going out I already create one of here and uh, other than that you do need to create an NAT rule as well so you add a masquerade rule first so from internal to external okay network any from any to y you need to add this okay i already add this one and then net okay you will need add a net so from any traffic or from Actually, I maybe this one need to be internal network, internal network going out, then change it to one, one IP address. After that, you can save it. Okay, this is the first rule to be created to allow the internal client to go out. And also there's a tiny button here. You need to enable this. Oh, enable. OK. 
اوكي احنا فايروال انيبل احنا اوريدي انيبل اوكي ثانكس Hello, I don't know why I do find it neither cheap to allow internet because even after I enable those uh, two rules I mentioned okay, I'm still not able to access internet the reason is here when I define the uh, wine interface the one settings so here's my two interface this is my one interface previously I didn't check this one default gateway so it didn't allow me to go to internet but after I check this one I'm okay to go to internet So honest speaking, I don't know why Surface is doing that because for all the firewall I worked for, they all have the default setting to allow internal user to go to internet. But apparently in Surface it's not the case. You need to set up three or four places to allow the internet only. It's uh, kind of ridiculous. Thanks.